Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk about Cody today and I wanted to talk about something that he said at the end of the one-on-one -on -one tell all that they did for season 16. And that was him lamenting the fact that if it wasn't for him, that if he was somehow out of the picture, that none of his wives would have a relationship with each other. My wife say, you know, if you weren't in the picture, we would still get along. That's such bull. I've seen these women treat each other so that we have, we have embarked on an experiment that is a failure. I, I, I wanted my wives to love each other. You know, if they treat me crappy, I really don't notice it. I went years with being treated badly. In, but when I see how they're treating each other, that's a whole different story. There's a wake-up call that I had with Moo and Flagstaff, and it was if I was out of the picture, it'd be over. Well, for one thing, that's just objectively not true. We see now that Christine has left, she has maintained a very close sisterhood with Janelle. But Cody has not done anything to foster a loving sister-wife relationship between his wives. In fact, he has actively sowed seeds of division and heartache between them. And I wanted to talk about just a few examples. I've talked about the Winders from Seeking Sister Wife before, and I just wanted to point out that the relationship that Tammy and Sophie have is not inherently without flaws. But from what we've seen, Colton goes to great lengths to foster a good and equal relationship with each wife and to have them have a friendship with each other. And it's not always perfect. Colton recognizes that it's not always perfect, but it's like to the extent that he can, he does. And we just see Cody does nothing at all like that. So I'm not a polygamy expert by any means, just a fan of reality TV. Personally, I don't know any polygamists. With that being said, though, I think most of us have had our fair share of toxic relationships. If you're, you know, in your mid to upper 30s, you've probably had your fair share of relationships that you can spot the signs that, that ring true of toxicity. And watching Cody just makes me so appreciate my husband even more. When you get a real gem of a human that you get to go through life with, you have to just sit there and appreciate that. And I really, truly do. But let's go back to where this all started. Cody and Mary are married. They've been married for a year. They all... They always knew that they were going to go down the plural marriage route. But when Cody started courting Janelle, he actually courted Janelle partially behind Mary's back. And they actually wanted to get married on Mary's birthday. And I know that that's a tongue twister, but married on Mary's birthday. Now, I got married on my grandmother's birthday. Sometimes, like what happened with us, it was the only day available at the time of year that the venue had that we wanted to hold our reception at. So it is what it is. We ended up, we got her her own cake. We sang happy birthday to, a, to her. She gave us her blessing. It was a wonderful dual celebration. But Ushering in your first sister wife on your original wife's birthday? That is just savage. And it was Cody's mother that intervened and said, hey guys, maybe pick a different day. It wasn't even something that was common sense to Cody or Janelle. Then there was the whole Cody courting Robin when Christine was pregnant and actually they went on their honeymoon when Truly was a newborn. They went 16 years without adding another wife to the family. You mean to tell me that courting Robin couldn't wait a few months? I mean, we know that they can wait if necessary. Mary and Cody initially wanted to court a girl that wasn't even 18 yet and they waited until she turned 18 to officially court her. This was before Janelle. So we know that if they have to wait, they will wait. I don't see why they could not have put this off. <laughs> and Cody and Robin took an 11 day honeymoon when Truly was a newborn. By now we know with Truly being his 13th biological child that this isn't something that Cody particularly gives a shit about, but I'm looking at Robin and I'm like, again, 
the common sense is just not there. And this is something that actually viewers have criticized Robin for over and over is that it just she seems to not really care about what things look like. Next, and I think the most important point when it comes to Cody not really wanting his wives to get along is just time, the time he spends with each wife. We know that Cody has never kept a consistent schedule when it comes to his wives. And honestly, the biggest problem with that is the trickle down effect it has for the kids. If he's not spending equal time with the wives, that means he's not spending equal time with the children. Christine has long brought up that her biggest problem in the family dynamic is just that the time is not divided equally. Cody loves loves to compare himself to actual marginalized communities when he talks about the strife that he's gone through as a polygamist. At the end of the day, Cody's lifestyle is a choice and he's choosing not to spend his time equally, thus sowing division between the wives. And as we have come to find out watching these later seasons, Cody actually uses deprivation of affection as a means to punish and control his wives. Another thing Cody does that makes it nearly impossible for his wives to have healthy relationships with each other is Cody discusses his relationships with his other wives. Cody uses his wives, especially Robin and even Janelle as confidants to bitch about his other wives too. Robin always tries to act like she has no idea what's going on in the other relationships, but we know that that's not true. We've seen Cody talk to her about other wives on camera. And, and if he's spending all of his time there, we're, we're not dummies. We know that you guys are having conversations. For example, she tried to pretend like she had no idea how bad things were between Mary and Cody. But we know that's BS. We saw Cody actually ask her, like, Mary has nobody. Mary's been isolated for weeks. Maybe you can use Mary as, like, a babysitter sometimes. And Robin, again pretending that she is worried about optics when we know she really doesn't. She's like, oh, I don't want Mary to be around when the other two wives aren't around, but you are the only one with Cody 99% of the time. So we know that that is just an insincere argument. We know that Robin does not care about optics. Cody talks about how his mom and Janelle's mom remained close after his father passed passed away. That's just not going to happen with Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin because Cody has actually put them in positions where they're actively going against each other and they actually have to compete with each other for his affections. That's not that uncommon in polygamous families, but by the way that he fosters or doesn't foster his relationships, he's making it impossible for these women to get along. In my opinion, Christine was the only one that was ever really trying to work towards a family goal. Mary has always had it out for Mary. I think Janelle has just not, again, you guys know my thoughts on Janelle is that her worst enemy is being bothered. So Janelle is not going to insert herself necessarily into a contentious situation. I mean, she had enough strife with Mary that they're still working through. I don't think she wants to be in anyone else's marital problems. And then Robin... We know Robin is only concerned about Robin. I'm just curious to hear what you guys have to say, so let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, much love.